Vegas created different lands. And so it's like, okay, let me finally tell you our story. It's the story of LA. We're told to eat with our mouths closed, don't reach across the table, and don't start till everyone sits at the table. Fuck that. Like, the way we eat is reach across the table, talk with your mouth full, and eat whenever the food hits the table. It's food from the streets of Los Angeles. You gotta come over to find out the meaning of people Las Vegas. It's definitely on the forefront of all the culinary innovations. There's so much to do, so much to eat, so much to see. I've been coming here probably since I was eight years old. This trip to me, I think, is historical. And like, you have all these small little countries, even if you can't go there. Like, there's Paris. Vegas created, you know, King Arthur's Court. They created New York next door. So I was like, let me create LA that I think that could represent and that I know that the people are gonna really love. We're in the new Park MGM, sandwiched between New York, New York, and Aria. It's a dedication to Los Angeles. I want folks from LA walk by this place and be like, oh shit. And if you weren't from L.A., then you would get past our stereotype and understand all of our culture. This food is kind of like my biography and the biography of all of the people I grew up with, from the suburbs to the beaches to the city blocks. This restaurant and our food is a representation of that. Food truck came at a really special time. I mean, I couldn't ever predicted this. So within the first year of Kogi, we were like a huge phenomenon. Thousands of people would just show up. I finally had a chance to like, I don't know, like just really put it down for my city and myself and just say whatever I wanted to say. And so what we try to do is encapsulate all of those experiences, standing on a street corner, eating a Korean barbecue, the whole thing into one bite. What we ended up doing is we ended up creating a bite that tasted like Los Angeles. Because up until that time, we really didn't have, as a city, one collective bite of food that defined our whole city. Because our city is so big, and there's so many neighborhoods. But for some reason, this taco, when you bit into it, like people would say, that's LA, you know? It's some of the flavors that I recognize, but it's also combined with some of the flavors that I appreciate, which is like the Los Angeles culture, which is the Mexicali cuisine. I think it's one of those things that you never thought about it, but once you thought about it, it's like, wow, that totally makes sense. We built a liquor store in the front. That's an homage to my parents and all my families in Koreatown walk through that and you come into this place connected with all of my LA artist friends. So that's what best friend is. The most important thing to the liquor store was that it had to be real. All of the display stuff is all the stuff that we grew up around as immigrant kids in Los Angeles. And all the posters and the stickers and everything just represent a lot of the things that, you know, I went through growing up. Graffiti, Lakers, Dodgers, K-pop posters, Tupac and Biggie posters. So anything you can touch, you can buy. Our idea was to give LA a voice. We've got a little bit of Asian influence, Latin American influence, obviously American influence. What we feel a strong vegan vegetarian menu, which is in LA, it's very prominent. So really encompass a lot of Los Angeles. The main thing about Best Friend as well, beyond the aesthetic and cultural components is our actual experience itself. It's high quality for an affordable price. And in many cases in Vegas, things are at a premium. 
So I want you to be able to walk out of here for $10 and have a plate of tacos, or come in and spend $1,000 if you want. Large format, baller stuff. The lamb was one of our large format stuff. A beautiful rack of lamb, marinated and done kind of chimichurri, South American style, but also done with kimchi and a lot of robust flavors. It's a really beautiful, delicious thing. The konji is a new dish. You know, it's a porridge. And then we make a garlic clam with like spicy kimchi sauce inside. And then we pour that over top and then you mix the whole thing together. And the elotes are another affordable dish. And we try to do it as close as possible to the elotes you find on the street of LA. And they're a huge hit here. I don't know how, how or why they approve this whole thing. And so, I mean, that's why I built this weird ass restaurant in here. So this was a culmination of everything that I had done for the last 10 years and all of the people that I was with. This restaurant is a love letter to them. And so, you know, the street to the strip. I just want people licking their plates, licking their fingers, dancing and having fun, you know, that's best friend.